Hi, it's Katrina. From spiders with gigantic jaws to sharks with serrated spirals, here are 10 animals with terrifying teeth. Some of these might surprise you. Number 10, the sea lamprey. You may have heard of the sea lamprey because of the destruction they've caused in the Great Lakes as an invasive species. They are native to the Atlantic Ocean and are considered parasites like leeches that don't usually kill their host. They aren't like normal fish and they are in fact much more closely related to sharks. Their skeletons are made of cartilage, but they don't have scales, fins, or gill covers. The most striking feature of the lamprey is its mouth. This circular suction cup mouth is ringed with sharp teeth, which allows them to latch onto large fish like whitefish, perch, and sturgeon. Once attached, they use their rough tongue to grind away the skin so they can feed on their prey's blood and fluids. Because of their efficiency at hunting, one single lamprey can kill as much as 40 pounds of fish every year. They lay waste to everything in their path, and they are single-handedly responsible for the collapse of trout stocks in the Great Lakes. These lake fish aren't able to survive the sea lamprey parasites. How did they get into the Great Lakes in the first place? The first recorded observation was in 1835 in Lake Ontario, but they were blocked from the rest of the lakes by Niagara Falls. When they improved the canals, the sea lampreys got everywhere. Number 9. The California Purple Sea Urchin They're the last thing you'd want to step on as you walk around the ocean floor, but sea urchins aren't just dangerous because of their spines. They also have a frightening set of teeth. Not that we need to be scared as humans, but they are pretty scary for other creatures. California purple sea urchins spend their lives in rocky tide pools, where they constantly grind and scrape with their teeth against the rock to form gaps that they can use to hide away from predators. Essentially, they are eating through stone. This behavior is unusual enough, but what makes them truly remarkable is that their teeth never get blunt. In fact, they adopt a mechanism that keeps their teeth razor sharp at all times. The reason for this is that each tooth has a crystalline structure and is always growing. There are inbuilt weaknesses in this crystal structure which dictate where they will break, which means that they will form a sharp edge. Luckily, an urchin's mouth is quite small, but if a small finger were to find its way near, it would cause a nasty injury. This self-sharpening trick used by the sea urchin could be used by scientists to make tools that never need honing. Scientists are quite impressed and say that the sea urchin tooth is one of the few structures in nature that self-sharpen. And now for number eight. But first, can you guess what animal these teeth belong to? The answer is coming up. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe before you leave. We have lots of new videos coming up. Number eight, the cookie cutter shark. Sharks have teeth in all shapes and sizes, but the most unusual ones have to be those of the cookie cutter shark. This species is known as a sleeper shark and is actually a type of dogfish. They have long, thin bodies with a short cone-shaped snout and no anal fin. Their mouths house up to 68 fiendishly sharp teeth at any time, and when they're damaged, the shark will swallow and ingest an entire row of its teeth to reabsorb the calcium, with another row already formed behind to replace them. Based on the name, you might think this shark is named after the cookie monster or something. It gets its name from the shape of the wound it leaves on its prey. It's quite a small species growing to about 22 inches long, but it has by far the biggest teeth relative to its size of any shark. It hunts at night, and once it catches up with its prey, it latches on with its suction-tight mouth and then bites. This leaves behind a conical wound about two and a half inches deep before it releases and attacks again. Cookie cutter sharks live at depths of more than 3,000 feet, but often migrate to shallower waters to hunt. They target prey that's much larger than them, such as tuna, stingrays, even other sharks, dolphins, humans, and parts of submarines that they find. They're not picky. Number seven, the Leviathan. The Leviathan used to be known as the Leviathan, but it has recently been renamed. Turns out the name was already taken. This prehistoric whale lived during the Miocene period about 13 million years ago. They were carnivorous, grew to up to 60 feet long, and could weigh up to 50 tons. That's the weight of six elephants. Leviathan Melville was named after the biblical sea monster and the author of Moby Dick. Unlike most whales who feed on plankton, the Leviathan actively hunted larger marine life like seals, dolphins, and other ancient whales. They looked a bit like sperm whales, but had a mouth full of huge teeth that were up to 14 inches long. That's longer than those of a saber-toothed tiger, and twice the size of the ocean's deadliest predator, the megalodon. 
The teeth were deeply embedded in the jawbones for support, and they were interlocked, helping them shred flesh more easily. They were also angled forward to be able to grab prey quickly. The Leviathan would have been a fearsome predator in its time, but this is thought to be ultimately what caused its downfall. At the end of the Miocene period, ocean temperatures are believed to have risen, which hurt many of the prehistoric sea mammals because they didn't adapt quickly enough. This giant predator ran out of food and couldn't adapt to a changing environment. Number 6. The Penguin Penguins are some of the cutest animals on Earth, so it's no surprise that they are a popular creature in wildlife documentaries and family adventures set in the cold. But there's one thing you don't see often, the inside of their mouths. And there's a good reason for this. It's pretty scary. No species of bird has teeth in the same way that we do, for example, but they do have backward-facing spines inside their mouths that perform the same function. In the case of penguins, whose diets consist of up to two pounds of fish, squid, crabs, krill, and other seafood per day, these spines are designed to grip hold of the slippery food. Kind of like sea turtles, the spines line their entire throats as well as their tongues. All of these prongs work in unison with each other to ensure that the live prey is caught and forced down the digestive tract without any chance of it escaping. It makes the penguin one of the most efficient predators in the Antarctic waters. No matter how cute, you definitely don't want to get on the wrong side of a penguin. Number 5. The Conodont The sharpest teeth of any animal to ever have lived are not, as you might expect, those of a shark or even a dinosaur. They belong to a relatively little-known creature called a conodont. They lived between 500 million and 200 million years ago and are regarded as the most successful vertebrates to have ever lived. I mean, hanging around the planet for 300 million years is pretty impressive. They looked a bit like eels but were bite-sized, about 2 inches long, perfect for their sharper than razor teeth. It was their mouths that made them something rather unique. Their teeth were very tiny and they are the sharpest teeth ever measured. They were just 2 micrometers across at the tips, which would have required a tiny amount of force to pierce the skin of prey. Teeth this sharp would actually be completely impractical in a larger animal, because they would easily snap and break if they were part of a more powerful jaw. But for the conodont, they were perfect, and it allowed the creature to survive on the planet for much longer than most other species could even dream of. Unlike our teeth that bite up and down, conodont teeth come down at an angle, slicing food from left to right. They couldn't chew, so shredding was the only option. Since they are so small, it has been very hard for scientists to study them in depth, but they are looking for more clues about this small and vicious killer. Number 4. The Helicoprion The Helicoprion, also known as the Ghost Shark, lived about 270 million years ago and had one of the most unusual sets of teeth of any creature. Along with the normal rows of teeth on its lower jaw, it had a central whorl of teeth that sat in its mouth where you'd normally expect to see a tongue. The upper part of the mouth had no teeth. The actual layout of its teeth has been a mystery to researchers since the first fossils were found at the end of the 19th century. There have been a number of different suggestions about where this semicircled formation covered in teeth was actually placed. Everyone was extremely confused, until finally in 1950, a large whorl was found along with some cranial cartilage. It finally proved that it was inside its mouth. Specimens have shown there to have been around 117 serrated teeth on the whorl, which itself was 10 inches in diameter. It's believed that the combination of these strange teeth and the lower jaw of teeth would have repeatedly sliced the flesh of its prey so that by the time the food reached the stomach, it had already been torn to pieces. Number 3. The Camel Spider The camel spider, also known as sun spiders, wind scorpions, or beard cutters, are neither spider nor scorpion, but belong to a completely separate order of arachnids. They live on most continents in the hotter, drier areas, and more than 1,000 different species have been documented. Some can be as long as 8 inches and run at speeds of up to 10 miles per hour, which is twice the normal walking speed of a human. They will chase after you, too. Not to get you, but to hide in your shade. The scariest thing about these creatures are their insane jaws, which are crucial to their predatory lifestyle. They eat anything that they are strong enough to catch, with the larger species even preying on lizards, snakes, and mice. If the chance arises, they'll even eat their own species. And once prey is trapped in those jaws, it isn't going anywhere. Perhaps even more frightening, their mating ritual involves males and females battling each other with their jaws, and at some point the sperm is transferred. But researchers aren't yet sure how without them both fighting to the death. 
If you're not a fan of fierce jaws on fast-moving animals that could give you a nasty bite, then you'd be best advised to stay well clear of a camel spider if you ever see one. It's just a relief that they aren't venomous. Don't worry. Number 2. The Paku Fish Animals around the world have teeth of all shapes and sizes, but the teeth of the Paku Fish are eerily familiar to all of us. This species is closely related to the piranha and is native to South America, although they have been known to escape captivity and thrive in waterways throughout the world. They can grow to up to 3.5 feet long and weigh up to 88 pounds. The teeth, unlike piranhas that are sharp, are flat and look just like a human's. This is the closest any other species has to teeth like our own, and it seems they put them to good use. The Paco fish's name is the nutcracker, and while they are very fond of eating nuts, Legend says it's the other kind of nuts that they like. So guys, watch out! They supposedly have been known to mistake testicles for low-hanging nuts and have no problem taking a bite. This isn't funny because this can cause severe blood loss and can even be fatal. There are many local stories about these fish in the Amazon, but the myth is yet to be fully verified. Number 1. Leatherback Sea Turtle Like I promised, remember this picture from earlier? For those of you who guessed, this is a picture of a sea turtle's mouth. If you see them in the water, they are one of the most beautiful and graceful creatures you'll ever encounter, but the giant leatherback sea turtle hides a secret you'll rarely see – its terrifying mouth and throat. It's the largest species of turtle and the third largest reptile in the world, so it needs to eat a lot to survive. Sea turtles have quite a specific diet, and practically the only animals that they eat are jellyfish. As you can imagine, they are pretty slippery prey to grab hold of, which is why the turtle's mouth has evolved to be like this. Their scissor-like jaws could be damaged by eating anything else. They have hundreds of giant spikes, known as papillae, that line the turtle's throat all the way down to its gut. These backward-facing papillae ensure that any jellyfish that enters is unable to float back out of its mouth, and the esophagus even loops around the stomach to further ensure that there's no escape. While this mouth is undoubtedly terrifying, it's also part of the reason why leatherback turtles are an endangered species. They are unable to tell the difference between jellyfish and plastic bags, where one provides a nutritional meal and the other blocks the throat, leading to choking and most likely death. Were you surprised by any of these teeth? Let me know in the comments below! Thanks for watching! Remember to subscribe and I'll see you soon! Bye!